For next year's NASCAR race weekend at Circuit of the Americas, NASCAR will step away from the Grand Prix circuit and utilise the national circuit instead for the Cup and Xfinity Series races. For the first four years of the Eco Park Automotive Grand Prix, NASCAR has used the same 3.41 mile 20 turn layout that Formula One uses for the United States Grand Prix. Now entering year five of NASCAR at Coda, the national circuit has 20 turns, but it's shorter at 2.3 three miles as well. It will eliminate a mile compared to the Formula One Grand Prix circuit and is expected to shave off about a minute in lap times based on NASCAR's simulations. The national circuit will begin at the exit of the S's section and then return to the traditional layout at the end of the long back stretch. As a result of the change to the national circuit, the Cup Series race distance will increase from 68 laps to 100 laps. However, we may see additional modifications to the layout as well. Speedwork Motorsports CEO and President Marcus Smith said the move to the national circuit would make a great race experience even better for the fans because they'll get to see more racing and it'll provide a new challenge for the drivers. Graphic courtesy of Speedway Motorsports. Well, Matt, you were covering the race with me this year as well. And by about halfway, we were slightly bored uh, because we were just <laughs> waiting for things to happen. Mm. It did, it did get, it did get exciting. It but it's, got exciting, yeah. Yeah, it's just the run up the hill and then down the back to turn 11. It was the bit... So they've cut mm-hmm. that bit out. We still get the straight. And I don't know. Are you supportive of NASCAR's moving to the national circuit away from the Grand Prix circuit? Personally, I think it might serve it a bit better. Uh, a, great news. Didn't know it was called the national circuit, so thank you for that. Um, and B, this is the same circuit that uh, supercars used... <laughs> And Adam will remember this if he's still with us in the chat. When was that? 2012, 2013, when they came over for their one round in the States. They had four races that weekend, and all of them were, were pretty decent. Uh, Jamie Winkup blew everyone's doors off most of the weekend, but the races were good. Um, so we're going to lose the second part of the last right and the little left over the hill, and then the long run down to the hairpin and back up the straightaway. I think it makes total sense. Um, And as Mr. Owens put in, I'm probably going to steal a point he's about to make in our chat this afternoon. Going back to the old track at Sonoma a few years ago from the short circuit didn't really work. We've never used the long track at Watkins Glen with the boot. Um, So, you know, keeping all the cars closer together, you know, we know on the the road courses it gets strung out from time to time if we have a green flag, long green flag run. And that long run down to the hairpin and back again is is just Hmm. was a little bit dull. Um, and I, I just think shortening it up makes sense. I have the chat map. It was on my notes here in the commentary box. So there's the chat map at, at Cota. And basically, as Matt said, I can beat, uh, I can beat that. Jeff. I'm sorry, I've got the. I've got the oh oh yeah. Oh. oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got the. Oh. I've got the F1. Look, I've got this. I've got the <laughs> FIA one, mate. This one we have. So basically, it's here. This is where they cut it off. It's this first section here from the S. So after that, you go across here, basically. It's more. It's more in between seven and eight. It goes so left. about here. Yeah. yeah. So there. So it just cuts off. So, but it cuts off all this section, and the downhill loop. And everyone was going wide at turn ten anyway. So going here and then the long back stretch. It just it makes more sense to cut it off. So basically, you know what? Look what like that. Yes. But yeah, basically, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They cut across at six now. Basically, so yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah, pretty good. It's not, just straight, it's not just a straight across. There is a little uh, right left kind of half chicane in the middle of that too, which, which from memory from the supercars days, which again was 10 years ago, there was some big high curbs in there. So we might see a few moves being made into 10. That would open up opportunities on that little short shoot to 11. We know what that whole se- stadium segment in the middle there is is like. So yeah, I'm, I'm really positive on this move. I think it will work really well. Yeah. Who's next? Go. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You, you know, yeah. I, I think it's great too because it allow more laps for you know the people in the stands to be able to see the cars go by. I mean, when you're at a road course, um, it's uh, it it can get a little. I don't want to say tedious at times being a fan watching a road course race, but when a car passes by and you don't you know see your favorite driver or the leader or the race for the win for you know two, three minutes, whatever. So I think it's going to enhance the fan experience as well, which is good. And, you know, with some of the more technical corners, I think that'll also, you know, put it maybe back more in the driver's hand. It's, it's too bad to not see, you know, as long of a straightaway as, you know, 
we were compared there with all the layouts and stuff. Uh, but I think there's some benefits with the fan experience. Yeah, and I think that's the biggest point is trying to make that fan experience as great as possible. But also, we've got to make the racing better at this race drive. We've run four races, and I think all four are memorable for different reasons. The first one we raced in a deluge. That was terrible. The second one was the best race of them all, but you had Ross Chastain dumping two people in the last couple of corners to win his first win. The third race, overtime finishes over and over and no one could make it through turn one and then this past year i say memorable only because it wasn't it was a terrible race um we've got to do something to make this coda race better if it's going to stay on the schedule um hopefully this will be that because you know we we have we have a texas problem in nascar everyone hates the texas motor speedway I understood that for a while. Last couple at Texas has been pretty good, including this past year, which had a really thrilling race, actually, if you could believe it. And now Coda, which has had its problems, uh, as I just diagrammed. But I want to ask to pull a Marty Snyder here and do a report and then <laughs> drop it back with a question to Matt. Um, since you've seen races at this course, I have not. Can Is this going to get track limits? sewn up because that that no. we need to be done with that we need to be done <laughs> no. with that garbage that was an absolute mess the entire weekend trucks xfinity and cup track limits penalties here and there and i'm sorry this is the american mind the american nascar <laughs> mind speaking here it doesn't belong in nascar if it's paved run on it we got to get that under control this uh this year I, this time around i feel like so you'll come left off the S's, that's obviously all paved. We know that already. I'm trying to remember. I say it's been ten years since I saw a race around that track, and I know. Hey, there we go. <laughs> you will, will attest to. Uh, there, there isn't a, probably a race track on the world that I've not seen a race at, and I'm trying to tick <laughs> those boxes as I go. But through that eight nine on the diagram there at the top left, that is, like I said there's going to be some high curves there. Ten, of course, we'll have grass on the exit because that's onto the straight where. There isn't any time at runoff for F1 and MotoGP because they don't use this course. Um, and then we're back into Turn 11. Of course, we that is the corner where we had the Max and Lando track limits uh, controversy in the Grand Prix. You'll still have the normal track limits at 19, as IndyCar proved in their only one and only visit here. Um, but yeah, there was a lot down there at the hairpin. And I think Josh said as well, they were running wide through 10, the one under the, under the bridge at the top of the hill. That was particularly um, yeah. eye-opening, let's say. So they've got rid of two corners that weren't really being in air quotes used properly um <laughs> <laughs> and they've they've tightened it up and we'll see we'll see some side by side stuff through that chicane and into the 10 11 it's just going to conduce the field a little bit and i think it's just going to be better i'll also say alan kavana tweeted earlier now he yes, was on the call that. for prn this past week uh this past year at coda and, of course, with a track so large, PRN had to use 20 turn announcers. But he said he did turns 6 to 10 last year for PRN this past season. He said he was there for two days and there wasn't a single pass that he saw in that <laughs> section. So, I mean, let, let's go for it. we got to do something to make this better. Yeah, not ball fest as that I was having. And you chose the right one to miss for your first of the season. <laughs> I missed. I I went in surgery and missed the best race of the year. So I was I was kind of niffed about that one. To be fair, so thanks uh, coming in. Um, which one was it? Which one was it? Oh, it was the one. It was the one just after. What was it? Tal no, it was Talladega. I missed because uh, of surgery. That was a great one. Uh, missed Roval. Roval was quite good. And then it was the one after it. Homestead. Uh, Homestead. Yeah, Homestead. missed that one. Oh, I'm Las Vegas. And Las Vegas, That's and that one too. Yeah. Well, and of course, this race is moving up in the schedule too. So yes. we'll see if yeah. that does anything. That's why I missed it because it was in the middle of March. And yeah. My birthday falls in there, and people want to do things for my birthday, even though I just want to sit home and watch basketball. <laughs> Ben's got something to say. Let's see. 
Yeah, I think this could be a good move as Sonoma suffered when they added the carousel and there's a reason why the Glen doesn't run the boot with the cup cars as well uh, coming into it. I feel like I've been frozen in half right now. <laughs> That's right, Mr. White. Uh, so our supercars did use the National Air at Kota as well uh, back in the day. Even I remember that race as well. Uh, on hers, but I think Jonathan's analysis is spot on. Anything better than Ty Gibbs' rookie season would be a surprise. I'm seriously getting worried here, actually. I've, I've just moved my legs. It feels like I'm frozen to the seat. Oh, uh, Coming into it. Right, that's the end of the NASCAR segment as well. We're going to put Jonathan backstage for a little bit as well. Uh, bring him back in hot and nods. But Matthew Owens, thanks so much for being on the show tonight. What's the rest of your uh, week looking like as well as we get ready, of course, for Vegas? Are you covering Vegas? I, I'm going to try, but it's at 1 a.m. Woohoo. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, thanks for having me on as always, by the way, Matt and Josh, there are people in this state like me that are really wanting the weather you're getting right now. No, you don't. <laughs> How can you do no more this? I, <laughs> grew, I grew up in Minnesota where it's cold and that's why I moved south. So don't care for what you wish for. <laughs> Just letting you know, I'm tired of the seventies and the eighties in November. Okay. Mm. Make November cold again. Mm -hmm. I want it mm -hmm. to be cold. No. It's minus two, and the commentary box is currently at minus five. Oh, so, so what is minus two to 23. you? Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Oh, that's not cold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Remind me to freeze him, won't you? Let's get get him over here. Get him to Brand's Hatch. Put him in the middle of the cold, the yes. wet, and the rain, and then see if he complains. Silverstone on a wet day. Still, yes, yeah. <laughs>